Hey guys, Brayden here, back with Mashables, and today... Yeah, it's, um, it's been a long week for me. You guys don't understand what I go through to make Mashables possible. And yeah, um, 54 cards in the game now, and it is out for release. As of February 23rd, it will be available to buy. That's the set date. That's the date that we're going with. That is the actual date. So I'm sorry I was a month late on getting this game out. And I feel really bad for that. But it was just... When I started, I looked at just making the cards. And the cards were pretty hard to make. But I figured I could make them like three cards a day. But then I got kind of uninspired. And I didn't make as many cards a day. And then I, at the start, I looked at it as I can edit 10 cards a day and be done with it in five days. But that's not actually how it works. In reality, it takes probably 30 minutes to edit one card instead of 30 minutes to edit 10 cards. And it's it just took so much longer to do it. And basically, I didn't even get done with my cards until maybe a week ago. And then I started just as soon as I got done. I used my free school days that I was off for snow and everything. And I was just straight on it, editing, editing, editing. And I got 20 cards edited the first day and 24 edited the second day. And that wasn't editing 30 minutes a day either. That was editing 8 hours a day. I edited 8 hours one day and 7 hours the other. And it, it was just unreal hard. But, yeah. So, I'm finally done. And there are a lot of cards in Mashables. 54 doesn't seem like a lot. But it is. I mean, it's so hard to make so many cards. And there's going to be some more uncombined cards in the set one. But this is all the cards. Without packs. Without anything. All the cards. And look how thick that is. Compared to my finger, it's like two times as big as my finger. That's like a that's a lot of cards because if you look at that that's paper thin one card you put all that together and that's like a notebook <laughs> but yeah so I'm gonna be showing you guys every single card in Mashables today sorry about my voice my nose is like stopped up and I'm sick sorry about that but it seems like every time I record in here I'm sick I don't know why but yeah so let's get into this. And this is gonna like kill like eight videos that I could have done, but that's okay. Okay, I'm gonna just end off with the new ones. So I'm gonna just go through and pick those out. Do, 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 do. And by the way, the last two cards I did turned out bad because I was trying to do them in the night time, and I couldn't see actually what I was doing. So yeah, it, it didn't turn out good. I actually uh, colored them purple instead of. Instead of the color they were supposed to be. Instead of um, brown. So yeah, I couldn't see. And they're purple now. So that's pretty great. So yeah, looking through my cards. Some of these cards I tried to do in like quick time. And they're not the best on the drawings. But yeah, they, they work. I had about 10 cards I did. In the, or new. I'm just going to go. Like, I'm going to end off with the newest cards. It's unreal how many new cards there are, honestly. When you take out all the new cards I've done in the last month, I'll show you here in a second, but the stack is so thin. It's unreal. This is crazy. This is crazy how many cards I've done in one month. Look, the stack's about half the size it was, almost. Compared to, and I lost like all of this. That's my thickness. <laughs> Sick. <laughs> but anyways, um, starting off with one of the OG cards, we've got Fatty Shark in a Pokemon casing because I don't want it to get hurt. It's my favorite, one of my favorite cards. Next, we have one of the newer cards, Hibernation. Um. I forgot to read the thing. Fatty Shark, 130 HP, attack 145, attack 275, legendary, has the insta-kill effect on small animals. 
And uh, the effect, the water, the element, I stopped doing that about halfway through the game because I felt that, like that was copying Pokemon. I didn't want to do that. And it really, in my game, it had no reasoning to have the element because you could basically tell what the element was by the card. So I just stopped putting it on there after a while. So yeah, that's a uh, fatty shark. Pretty cool. And again, with the Easter egg, if you guys want to watch my other video in uh, my first... Um, first trading card game, first version. It's not the school version, it's the first version. Go watch that and there's actually an Easter egg with the Fatty Shark. It's pretty cool. So yeah, that was Fatty Shark. Here's Hibernation. Um, your opponent can't use one of their cards for two rounds. Pretty good card. Say they've got something like Phoenix, it's pretty useful. Um, next we have Rooster, it's a common. HP, 40, attack 1, 20, attack 2, 40. One kill, draw four cards, which can be pretty useful when you're running low on cards. Your opponent has a bunch of cards on the table. And I like, I've been practicing playing this a lot. I've been trying to get used to how the mechanics of the game work. And I've got it pretty straightforward. So I'm going to be uh, actually doing a re update of the how to play um, version, first version when I first started the game. So yeah, the game mechanics are a lot different. So yeah, here is Queen Ant. It's a rare. H and this was one of the first cards I made. HP is 90. Attack 1 is 0. Attack 2 is Summon Ant card. If you have this and an ant farm, if you have this card and an ant farm, use all ants. Yeah, I was writing that and I was kind of tired and it didn't come out right. Bear Trap. A very, very, very good card. Steal one of your enemy's cards from their attack pile. So say they're they're killing you with a phoenix, you can steal that phoenix up and it regains to full health and you get their card. Okay, Lava Fox. One of my favorite cards in the game. I did actually a speed art, if you guys want to go watch that. Uh, Lava Fox, HP 130, attack 160, attack 290, no effects, extreme rare. Yeah. You guys actually, if you are playing, you can add the flame effect uh, that the chili pepper has, or the pe pepper. Let me see where that is. Yeah, you can add this guy's effect. When attacked, burns opponent taking taking 20 HP and less fire creatures. So like that's what usually fire creatures have. So yeah, let's just do pan pepper. Legendary attack HP 80, attack 140, attack two, attack two is 60. Panicked Pepper. What a great card. <laughs> um, Potato Bomb. A very, very good card. So, a good strategy to use this is wait till your opponent has taken out all your other cards and then play this down. And then just, they have to attack that and that can basically kill one of their creatures. So, its HP is 1. So, as soon as it's attacked, it's a dead. Uh, detonation is 80. And when attacked, detonates. Part of the Potato Archetype. It's common. Yeah. Next, we have another potato, Potato Warrior. Its HP is 60. It's a common. Part of the potato archetype, the mighty Potato Warrior, HP 60, attack 130, attack 220. Helpful Virus, a very, 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 very good power up card. So, basically, what this does is you attach it to your card you're using, so you're using the Potato Warrior, and you attach it to it, and when it's attached to you, it takes no damage from you. But then, your opponent kills your Potato Warrior, and so your opponent has to take the virus with them, and then it starts taking damage from your opponent, and it takes can be used to take 10 health from opponent's creatures per round. So every round they attack, they take 10 health. Infects when killed. So yeah. Next we have Old Onion. Old Onion has 50 HP. Attack 1 is 10. Attack 2 is 50. That's a horribly drawn 5. Okay, that's 50. I don't know why. But 10 and 50. Common. When this card dies, see one of your opponent ca opponent's cards from their hand. And sorry if you guys can't read some of my handwriting. It's not very good. 
ever since first grade, they've, see, when I hold a pencil, and I'll actually show you, I write like this. I don't know why. I write very weirdly. And they've been trying to get me to write like this since I was in third grade. But I can't write like that. I have to write like this. And I go like that. And it's just chicken scratch. So yeah, that's that. Next we have Vampire Bat. HP 90. Attack 140. Attack 260. It's a rare. It gains 10 health when it attacks. It's a poison type. But remember, I stopped doing that. So yeah. So basically it just it sucks the blood of its opponent, which is health, and it gains health when it attacks. Another good card, but horribly drawn, is Thorn Person. I could not draw this card for the life of me. And uh, yeah, very good ability. Its HP is 110, attack 1 is 10, attack 2 is 40, it's a rare. And when it attacks, it inflicts half damage back. So basically they attack, they get hit by the spikes, and it inflicts half damage back. So yeah. Very dangerous card to attack. Good to play, again, like the Potato Bomb, when you have no other cards played, when they kill your other cards. Electric Eel. HP is 90, attack 1 is 30, attack 2 is 50. Rare. Stuns opponents if attack 2 is used in row two times. So it stuns them and their creature can't be used for two rounds, I think it is. It might be a round, I don't know. It depends how you guys want to play it. Okay, next is a new card-ish. It's called Attacking Turtle. HP is 70, attack 1 is 20, attack 2 is 30. Uncommon, when killed, opponent does half damage. So yeah, pretty cool. There is actually going to be the first combination. It's kind of a word, play on words. I'll get to that here in just a minute between the Attacking Turtle and the Mad and uh, Attacking Turtle and uh, Duck. But I'll get to that here in a minute. Mad Mushrooms, HP is 70, attack 1 is 30, attack 2 is 50. It's an uncommon Mad Fungus that packs a punch. I don't know why I did that. I don't know why I read it like that. Snaggletooth, HP 100, attack 1, 25, attack 2, 50. Uncommon, planet type, deadly to bugs, two times while fighting. I don't know. I think that's insects. Deadly to bugs, two times while fighting. I don't know what that means. Okay, anyways. I don't know what that was supposed to mean. Um, Narwhal, HP 100, attack 150, attack 270. Um, legendary, only takes half damage from opponents. I, lo I, like, I like my Narwhal, it's pretty cool. Another dumb card, <laughs> Derpy Ant. And originally this was just supposed to be a worker ant, and I colored in its eye black. That's an Easter egg a little bit. Colored its eye in accidentally black. And so now I gave it an eye patch and some stupid teeth, and there you go. You got a derpy ant. It's all out. It's all out of whack. But yeah, HP is 50, attack 1 is 30, attack 2 is 40. It's a common insect type, can duplicate into more if combined with bacteria. So the only bacteria card as of not right now is the helpful virus so it's combined with that it can duplicate into more depends on how many helpful viruses you have in your hand and how many you use one is times two so yeah elemental bird cage if played all elemental birds go to the discard pile so basically that just works on the phoenix pretty good because the phoenix is pretty powerful and i didn't want to have the phoenix so powerful that it couldn't be defeated i wanted to kind of put a buff on it and a buff a uh, nerf on it. So yeah, I gave it a nerf with the elemental bird cage. So yeah, pretty good card to have in your hand, depending on who you're playing. Okay, timber tomato. HP is 50. Attack one is 50. Attack one is 30. Attack two is 50. That that that's so hard to see. Why do I write so bad? I don't know. It's a rare, small but strong. When it attacks anything that's not a plant, plus 10 attack. Yeah, it's, it's 
it's horribly on the disc description it's hard to see i might actually redo the picture on that as a game crafter but yeah ant farm first biome card there's gonna be more biome cards in set two i promise there's actually gonna be a first one of the first 10 cards are gonna be a reef but yeah when you draw this card draw one ant if you have a queen draw all ants from your deck so yeah just kind of boost up the queen pretty cool Zebrafish is next. HP 70. Attack 1 is 40. Attack 2 is 50. Legendary. When kill, draw a legendary from your deck. I really liked that card. Yeah, that was a good card. First card I made. Yeah. For, for like the game crafter, I mean. Crack and Crab. Crack and Crab. Um, HP 90. I don't know why I did that accent. Attack 1 40. Attack 2 60. Rare disables the ability of opponent creatures. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Pretty good. So yeah, um that's good on an ability like um say attacking turtle is played and it's killed and then instead of uh, doing half damage between that or the narwhal, it'll do it'll do full damage. So that makes it a lot better. Okay, HP Buckhorn HP ninety, attack one forty, attack two seventy, it's an uncommon. Shielded from plants by horns, plus 10 health. Yeah, its eyes got messed up. It looks like it's Chinese a little. Not being racist to anybody. It's just, I don't know. Its eyes are like squinting. It looks like it's squinting at a tree and trying to eat it. <laughs> okay, next is Cold Snake. A very, very good card. It's a favorite of mine. Um, HP is 90. Attack 1 is 40. Attack 2 is 50. Uncommon, two rounds after played, one of the opponent's creatures dies because of poison. So yeah, very good card. I love this card because it took so long to figure out how to get the cold effect on it. On like, make it look like it's curled up and then it's head's coming out. But I could not figure out how to do that. It was killing me because I kept trying and trying and trying. I probably drew that snake 50 times. And I think I actually said... Like that's I actually re referenced that in a uh, different video where I showcased this cool snake. Yeah, food boost. The first card I made in the game. The like that's actually the first card I made. You know what I made? This is the first card that is at, in the game now that I made. Yeah. So food boost, boost health times two and gives you one energy. Pretty cool. A pretty good card. I like it. It's awesome. Yeah. Next we have Kangaroo. Another card that was super hard for me to figure out how to draw. Its HP is 90. Attack 1 is 50. Attack 2 is 70. It's uncommon. Has a 2 times effect. If a desert biome is played with it. Now that's going to come in on uh, set 2. I was planning to do a desert biome. But I didn't have the time. Um, so yeah. I'm going to have to get a desert biome done. And a reef biome in set 2. Sorry about that guys. I was planning to do it, and I just didn't have enough time. I was wanting to get the card game out before everybody got frustrated. So, yeah. So, Durant, HP 50, attack 160, attack 270. It's a common insect type. Can duplicate when combined with bacteria, just like the other end cards. Again, we have a Phoenix. The best card in the game. As of now, it's pretty good. And, of course, I've got the sleeve on it because I don't want it to get hurt because it's one of my favorites. Um, Phoenix, HP 150, attack 1 is 80, attack 2 is 100, it's an extreme rare. Every creature it attacks dies after 2 rounds. That's, that's why it needed the nerf. That, that's why this card needed a nerf. So yeah, that's why it got the nerf. Because it's so OP. So yeah, next we have Rockadillo. Again, in the sleeve, it's one of my favorites. Um, I just love the design on it, mostly. And its effect, HP 100, attack 130, attack 250. It's a common. If under 50 health, can't be attacked once. So that's for one round, it can't be attacked. So yeah. Why keep... Foot's cramping and I'm trying to move it to get it to stop cramping. Jelly Belly, HP 95, attack 130, attack 2, 45. It's a rare electric type. And deadly to uh, water creatures times two damage while fighting. So, um, pretty good if you're fighting something like a fatty shark. It's pretty powerful. 
So yeah, pretty good on that point. Next we have Vial of DNA, a card that got way too small when made. If you see how big this is, it's super small. When you compare it to this, it's like way, way too small. You guys can see. So yeah, it's really thin. It can actually fit inside this card. But yeah, on the Game Crafter, that's one card I'm looking forward to getting because it's um it's remade and it's not small anymore. So yeah, that's gonna be like a really cool card to get because it's different from the original. So yeah, pretty cool. Um, when played, draw four DNA points, which are just the points you draw. If you don't know what that means, go watch my How to Play video or my Fighting with Dalton video. Me versus Dalton, yeah. Next is Carrot Warrior. HP 50, Attack 130, Attack 250. It's a common, and its description says, Enemy of the Potato Warrior. So yeah, my, my idea originally was that they're just like arch enemies. And basically, they're from two sides of the garden, and they just hate each other. But that's going to be a different video. It's going to be a war video. So yeah, pretty cool. Okay, next we have Pile of Bait, a video of uh, a card I absolutely love how I drew. I figured out how to draw stakes, and I just went away with it. And I just love it. It's got some little pieces of seed and some stakes. And it says, draw two cards from your deck. Pretty good boost card. Yeah. And finally, before we go to the newer cards, we have Card Printer. Limited edition card. Um, very hard to get. First five people that um first five people that get a pack will be getting a almost guaranteed it's like a 99 90 percent chance you'll get it. I actually looked at the card game crafter and after I uploaded it, I was like crap I messed it up because I, I forgot to put it as an absolute so but yeah it's set as a common card and there's f 10 common cards per pack so if you order two packs you should be able to get this 100 percent but yeah so that's card printer and um, draw one extra card each round until the card that this is attached to is destroyed so yeah pretty good card and now to the newer cards we have, first off, Powered Penguin, HP is 60, Attack 1 is 40, Attack 2 is 50. It's a common, deadly to fish, two times damage. Pretty good card. Next we have one of my favorites, Goldfish. Um, I just love this card because it's so simple. And it's just, it's a weaker card, but I don't know, I just love it. But yeah, HP is 60, Attack 1 is 20, Attack 2 is 40, it's a common. When kill, draw four DNA points. So yeah. And another reason you should be able to get a uh, limited edition pretty easily is because there are only um, there are only 17 common cards in the game so far. So yeah, you should be able to get it pretty easily um, if you're trying to find it. So yeah, pretty 17, and there's 10 guaranteed. So that means that it's a one in seventeenth chance that you'll get it per pack. So two packs you should be able to get it. That's a two in seventeenth chance that you will get it. I don't know. You should be able to get it guys. Uh if you don't get it in your pack, comment down below and I will fix the pack. I'm sorry. Um I will fix that. Probably I don't know though. Limited edition card, that's why it's limited edition. It's gonna be hard to get. I hope I get one in my packs. I ordered three. But, you know, it's going to be rough. So, sorry about that. Next card we have is a card that I don't like particularly at all. Period. So, it's the camel. And it's one of the cards that got colored purple, sadly. <coughs> but, yeah, I was in the dark and I accidentally colored it purple. I tried to fix it up a little bit by putting some more black on it and it just didn't work. But anyways, it's HP is 80, attack 1 is 40, attack 2 is 60, it's an uncommon, gains 40 HP when finding water, top, because it was the worst water. Yeah. Next we have the, um, what, what's, uh, the collab card. 
with uh, Dex of War TCG. Make sure to go check him out. And it is Scrap Permit, a very, very good card. If you guys get this card, guys, it is an awesome card. Its HP is 60, attack 1 is 60, attack 2 is 90. It's a rare, and when this card kills another card, it gains its HP and attack 2. So basically, you can destroy another card if you like. If you kill one card, you're gonna destroy every card. A very, very, very good card up next, Piranha. This is one of my favorites, honestly, because of its ability. Its HP is 90, attack 1 is 50, attack 2 is 80. It's a rare, and because of its swiftness, it attacks twice every round. So you're gonna destroy your opponent if you get this. And I've actually got this playing, just playing around with my friends. And I have, like, destroyed them. Like, they can't, you can't handle this card. That, that It's just too good. Yeah. Up next, uh, we have a duck. And this is what I was talking about for the combined. Let me find it. The turtle. Come on now, turtle. Where you at? Turtle? Myrtle the turtle, are you here? I'm trying to find it. I had it lay out and then I accidentally scooped it back up. There it is. So yeah, here's the card that when it, it's a very good combiner card. But yeah, it's um, HP 60, attack 1 is 40, attack 2 is 60, uncommon when fighting, fish two times damage. So yeah, it's um. I don't know how to say it. It's 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 there's a combiner card, the first card ever made, and you guys are gonna kinda think this is stupid, but I think it's a funny it's gonna be a funny good card. But yeah, we're gonna combine duck and turtle and we're gonna make um first three letters of turtle is tur. First two letters of oh, duck tur ductor. And basically it's just gonna be a duck with the turtle shell on its head, like a what's it called? Stethoscope? No, 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 it's not a stethoscope. I don't know what that thing is, but doctors like wear it around their head. And it's on the front. You guys know. Might pop up a picture right now of it. But yeah, it's gonna be a combination of these two, and it's just gonna be pretty good. Uh, combiner cards and set here are gonna be awesome. But yeah, that's that. Okay, next we have one of my favorites. I wanna be Tracer, and I'm already Widowmaker. <laughs> Yeah, I got Widowmaker. HP is 40. Attack 1 is 90. Attack 2 is a flaming 150. And this actually beats any card's Attack 2. If I can actually find the second most power. This, yeah, this thing only has 100 Attack 2. This thing has 150. So this is officially the most powerful card in the game. So yeah, good job Widowmaker. You did something right. So it's a legendary, very, very poisonous, which means it takes the ability of the snake. Two rounds after that card is played, one of the opponent's cards dies. So yeah, pretty cool. Rooster, we already went over that. We already went over that, we already went over that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wrong, wrong deck. Okay. Squirrel. Horribly drawn card. Um, HP is 70, attack 1 is dodge, it doesn't take damage for the next two rounds, attack 2 is 30. Uncommon, fast, and tricky, one kill, draw a card. Chameleon, HP 90, attack 1 80, attack 2 90, rare, can only be attacked every other round because of its camouflage ability. So yeah, it's a pretty good card. Now to another one of the cards I made originally, and this is one of the, one of the last cards I made, but it's a good card. And it is Mantis. Mantis has HP 60, attack 1, 40, attack 2, 80. It's a rare. When this card when this creature is played, draw 10 cards. So yeah, that's a really good card. And now what? No. This is the most powerful card in the game. This is absolutely a beast. But yeah, this is a card I was wanting to do a separate video to showcase to you guys, but I guess I'm just gonna showcase it now. It's a super cool card. I didn't have time to showcase it. But I love it. It's Dragon. Dragon is going to be combined with so many. Stopped on me for some reason. But yeah, its HP is 170, highest HP of any card. Its attack one is 110, highest attack one of any card. And its attack two is 160. Extreme rare, the best card in the game. 
and it's what uh, it does twice damage when fighting water creature. Oh wait, water does twice damage when fighting this creature. See, so, yeah, that's kind of a little bit of a nerf on it. Not really. Um, yeah, but that's a really really good card. I didn't have time to do a showcase on it, and it was kind of hard to draw. It's not the best drawing, but it's pretty good. So, yeah. Um, yeah, that's that. Next, we have a favorite of mine. I have so many favorites in this game. I honestly don't know what my top ten favorite is. I love all my cards, and they're all so good. Yeah, we have Eagle. Eagle has HP 60, attack 170, attack 290. It's a rare, and its description says, America! Take that, Trump. Or Hillary, I mean. Goats. HP 60, attack 140, attack 250, uncommon. No description. I forgot to put a description on that one. Next, we have Toucan. HP is 10, attack 1 is 50, attack 2 is 80. You'll realize why this is 10 here in a second. It's an extreme rare, and it's health is 10 because if this card wins, you win the game. So basically, if you get that card, you get food boost and maybe some other booster cards. You're supposed to be able to boost it up and possibly win the game. Um, maybe combine it with another card and get its power up. But yeah. Next, we have another purple card, Horse. Sadly, it's a uh, HP is 70, attack 1 is 40, attack 2 is 60. Rare, attack twice with all cards. I don't know why it's purple. Same thing happened with it and the camel, sadly. But yeah, that happened. Floppy Frog is next. I love the drawing on this card. Um, HP is 70, attack 1 is 60, attack 2 is 70. Rare, when played... When played, give all other cards 50 extra HP. Pretty good card. Next, we have a horribly, horribly, horribly drawn card. And it's a giraffe, sadly. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know how to draw a giraffe. But yeah, I just drew it. Its HP is 100. Attack 1 is 40. Attack 2 is 60. It's a rare. When killed, take 10 HP from an opponent. Yeah. Pretty bad ability, but yeah. Pretty bad card overall. I don't know why it's rare. Yeah. Next we have Beaver. 60 HP. Attack 1 is 50. Attack 2 is 60. It's a rare. When played, add 50 HP to all other creatures. So, yeah. Pretty good card. And it's actually going to be combined with the Duck to make Platypus. So, yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, guys. Thank you guys for watching. I know this was a long, long, long video. But there's a lot of cards in the card game, and I just wanted to go over all of them before you guys get set one, so you guys know what to expect when you buy it. Please make sure to, to uh, do buy set one and help support the channel. Every person that buys a pack will get shouted out personally on the channel. Um, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and tell your friends about the channel. Uh, we've been growing so fast, and we are going to be doing another battle video as soon as I get the new cards. But yeah, that's it for this video, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Peace out.